Las cámaras de Hispani Rusia estuvieron visitando al maestro instructor Frank Arias, quien es un experto en las artes marciales rusas. Él se encuentra radicado en Toronto por muchos años y estará dando lecciones de defensa personal en nuestro programa. Si están interesados en lecciones personales, tomen nota del teléfono y la información que aparece en la pantalla. Pasemos a verlo. Hello, my name is Frank Arias, and uh, I'm an instructor at Sistema Russian Martial Art. My, um, my goal today is to share some techniques about self-defense, personal protection. I noticed that there's been an increase of violence in Toronto, and now I want to share some, some, like I said, some techniques to, uh, to get an awareness about distance. Most important to me is distance, so you don't allow the attacker or the, the criminal to get close to you. That is, this is very important. There we go. My, uh, this is uh, Chris, and this is Cam, and they're my uh, students, uh, and they're going to help me today to demonstrate some techniques. There we go. Okay. The, mo the most important thing, uh, the, the topic is, we could talk forever, but so I'm going to keep it nice and short. So it's very important for us to, to be aware of the distance. For me, this, this area, like I'm all about an arm length, is my personal space. I should, not be, I should not let anyone come in into this space, and I should be aware who come close to my, uh, my personal space. Anything uh, outside this space, it's okay, but you should also be aware. You should not fall asleep, you should not be on your phone, and you should gotta be aware, especially in the urban environment, you have to be aware. I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of criminals People even uh, mental, uh, even not fed, like mental illness, that they go on the street and stabbing, and you're never gonna expect it. So, the my opinion is be aware of your distance, your space. Okay, so that space is good, but if he makes a step towards my personal space, I should create that space, maintain that space. He goes back, he comes in, I move and I move and I move. Every step that he makes. I make an extra. So for us, it's very important to maintain our distance. So we should not be tense and fix, fix in one place. So having said that, we're going to go to a technique, which I just demonstrate, where he comes in and I create my space. Once again, when I'm creating that space, it allows me to, to see the situation in a more relaxed manner. I'm able to plan and execute my technique. So there we go. So he comes in and because it's common, and I'm a, this is personal protection or self-defense, I have the space, I don't need to engage this guy. So what I do is, he comes in, I run away, run away, and if he follows me, if he gets follow me, what I do is maybe I'll call, I start screaming, help, 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 or, and I start calling 911 and, and, and use the phone. So always create that distance. Now, having said that, and he attacks, or he gets close, and he was able to, penetrate my personal space, and now we have physical contact, my goal is to, to create a, a, a technique. So we use, a lot, uh, we use a lot of the biomechanics. For me, tension is not good. I don't want to freeze. Don't freeze. So breathe in, relax your body to be able to walk, run away, and, or you know, change the angles where I could do this, grab him, don't let go. Um, so, he grabs you tight, he won't let go of you. That's his goal, is to keep you. So, if I move and I'm able to control him and kick him, obviously kick and run away. Don't help me too much. So, again, he grabs. From here, is, I just change angles. I move and that can create him to be, to move, maneuver him in such a way so that I could come closer maybe hit and he moves away. If I hit him enough, to this, uh, like I hit him the neck so that way I can demonstrate my punch, he will let go and then you can run away. All right? So that's one technique. Grab automatically two hands, just hit and run away. The other one, you grab, he grabs the other hand, maybe hit the arms for him to let go. And if, you, if he grabs me and, 
and if you're on the on the street, if you're a woman or a man these days uh, could carry a purse, I will use the purse, the, what I have, and maybe head head him in order for him to open up. So if I have a if I have my bag or my my purse, I will definitely go, use this to head in the face in order for him to to let go. So once we disengage from him, I throw away the the bag, I run away at the same time. So it is important to be, to disengage as soon as possible. Your intention is not getting to a fight. Your intention is to clear the space and run away. Thank you.